welcome back to the channel of Ecoholics. So in today's video, I will be solving a past year question from the paper of IES 2020. So it's a question from GE1 paper and is related to the topic of econometrics. So let's see the question. So the question reads, the regression equation of variables x and y are 8x minus 10y plus 66 equals to 0 and 40x minus 18y equals to 240. The variance of x is 9. Identify the two regression lines. Find the simple correlation coefficient between the two variables and variance of y. So you have to find out three things in a single question. First, you have to identify the two regression lines. Then you have to find the correlation coefficient. And the third thing which you have to find is variance of y over here. So these type of questions are very simple and they have been asked a numerous number of times in the paper. So there is just one single technique and if you can learn that technique, you will be able to solve every question which comes on this type of the front. So now here we are given the two linear equation. We have to identify that this equation is representing x on y or is it representing y on x. So that is our first task. So how we are going to do that? Let me first write this first equation. 8x minus 10y plus 66 equals to 0. So if I'm believing that this is x on y, I transform this equation in terms of y. So 8x equals to 10y minus 66. So x equals to 10 by 8 y minus 66 by 8. Now this 10 by 8 is nothing. It is my slope estimator of x on y. So slope estimator is equal to 10 by 8. Similarly, I take my second equation which is 40x minus 18y equals to 214. So if I believe this is y on x, I have to transform this in terms of x. So I write 18y equals to 40x minus 214. So I get y is equal to 40 by 18x minus 214 by 18. Now similarly, the value 40 by 18 is nothing. It is my slope estimator of y on x. So I get this. Now what I know is that if I multiply my two slope estimators, one from regression x on y and another from y on x, they have to be equal to my r square. Right? So what I, one more thing which I know about r square is that r square has to be between 0 and 1. It cannot exceed 1. It cannot go below 0. So if I multiply them, I will check whether the multiplication of them is satisfying this condition. If it is going to satisfy, I will proceed with these two equations over here. So bxy is 10 by 8 and byx is 40 by 18. If you will multiply them, you will get them greater than 1. So r square cannot be greater than 1. So it means these two regression lines which I have found out here are not the correct one. So it means this cannot, this equation cannot give me x on y and this equation cannot give me y on x. So I will reverse the situation. Now I will work with this equation to find out y on x and with this equation I will try to find x on y. So let's try doing that. So 8x minus 10y plus 66 equals to 0. From this I will first find y on x. So I will get 10y equals to 8x plus 66. So y is equal to 8 by 10x plus 66 by 10. So the slope estimator comes out to be 8 by 10. Similarly, from the second equation, 40x minus 18y equals to 214. So from this, I will try to get x on y. So I will get 40x equals to 214 plus 18y. So I will get x equals to 214 upon 40 plus 18 upon 40y. So from here, the slope estimator comes out to be 
18 by 40. Now I will try multiplying them. So let's see. Byx into Bxy is equal to R square. So I get 8 by 10 into 18 by 40. Now this will come out to be less than 1. So it means these equations. The first equation is giving me y on x. And the second equation is giving me x on y. So now I have identified my regression line. So this is my y on x regression line. And this is my x on y regression line. Alright. So with this technique you can identify the regression lines. Now after identifying the regression line I have to find simple correlation coefficient. What is my correlation coefficient? Correlation coefficient is nothing. It's the value of r I have. Now I know the value of r square. I can get from the multiplication of them. So how can I get the value of r square? I can just find out the square root of this and I will get my value of correlation over here. So I can solve for this. If I multiply this, I will be getting 0.36. So r square is equal to 0.36. This is coefficient of determination. I want to find correlation coefficient. So I want to find r over here. So I will be getting root 0.36. This is the answer. Now the third thing I have to find is variance of y. So for variance of y, we have one another shortcut formula. What is that? It is given by r square equals to slope of y on x square into variance of x divided by variance of y. So when we are working with the model, when we are working with the regression of y on x, this is the formula. Of course, if we will move with x on y, the formula will get reversed. So if I put all the values, now I have r square ka value, I have by x value, I have variance x, I just don't have variance y. So if I put that, I will get variance of y. Let's see. So I know r square is equal to 0.36. So if I put this 0.36, what is BYX? We have found it out here. It's 8 by 10. So I'm going to put that here. 8 by 10 whole square. Now variance of X is given to us, which is equal to 9 upon variance of Y. So if I take variance of Y to the other side, I will be getting 64 by 100 into 9 divided by 36 by 100 over here. So cancelling things out, I get 4 here and I get 116 here, this thing. So variance of y is nothing, it is equal to 16. Right? So with the help of these shortcut tricks, we have easily find out our three questions, the answer to the three questions. So this is how the questions are easy. You just have to work on the right trick and the right formula to get to your answer. If you find this video useful, please like it, share it and subscribe to the channel. We have videos on other solutions as well. You can check our YouTube channel or you can download the app for getting access to those PYQ solutions of IES. Thank you everyone for watching this video.